They are soaps and lotions sold by some of the biggest retail chains in the country. But what may shock you is the fact that they are being made in a factory where kids as young as nine years old are working on the assembly line. And it's happening right here in the United States. Our Lisa Guerrero has this undercover investigation. They preach peace and love, and they sure look like relics from bygone days of hippies and communes. But there is another side these people don't want you to see. Children as young as nine working in a factory. This 11-year-old girl was on an assembly line. So what are children doing on an assembly line? They're packaging high-end lotions and skincare products for brands like Acure and Savannah Bee that are sold in several well-known chain stores in America. In fact, before we launched this investigation, I used Savannah Bee's wax hand cream. Among the major chains selling a cure in Savannah Bee, Whole Foods, Amazon, Target, and Walmart. The world deserves to know what is going on. Shua Jones is 30, Sarah Williams is 34. Both were born into the religious sect known as 12 Tribes, but they are now speaking out against the group, which has thousands of followers around the world, including at this large communal house in upstate New York. 75 yards away is their soap factory, where we found a Cure and Savannah Bee products being manufactured and packaged. At Inside Edition's request, Sarah Williams returned to 12 Tribes and was welcomed back by the people who still remember her from before she left eight years ago. They didn't know she was wearing a hidden camera. She recorded this girl working on the assembly line. How old are you? Eleven. This boy was nine. And this girl? How old are you? You tell her. Ten. Her father seems to know children shouldn't be working. Listen as he assures the girl that she's not speaking to an investigator from the Department of Labor. It's no secret, sir. She's not child labor. People don't know that when they go and buy these beautiful products. They don't know that there's little tiny children over in Cambridge, New York, making them. My dad said put one there and one there. Okay. Inside Edition producer Zara Lokshin also went undercover, where she found children working in the field, including this six-year-old boy working on the farm, picking potatoes, and trying his best to handle a wheelbarrow. Oh, no. This member explained how they keep their children under control. It takes training. It, it takes, really, it takes, it takes the rod of authority. It's them being disciplined and spanked, and they're not obedient. These are the rods of authority, which we found hanging on a wall in the communal house. They're actually thin bamboo sticks, ready to be used on a child for any transgression, according to former members. As seen in this documentary from Germany, where 12 tribes has a presence. And the 12 tribes beating is a way of life every single day. There's spankings and then there's beatings. And a beating is when you take all of the force that is in your arm and you whip with that rod until your arm is literally tired. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. I spoke to a 12 tribes leader. No, we don't use children in our factories. We don't have factories. We have videotape of it, sir. Yes, you do. You have a factory right over here. It's a soap factory. And aren't you selling your soaps and lotions to major retailers? Are they aware that you're using child labor? We don't use child labor. Do you hit children with bamboo rods? We are always gentle with our children. If no one tells the world what's going on, then it just continues. Savannah B says it opposes child labor and its manufacturers follow all labor regulations. A cure told Inside Edition the allegations are abhorrent and it has now stopped doing business with the factory. Meantime, Walmart said they have blocked the product from its website while they investigate. Target is looking into what we found while Amazon and Whole Foods had no comment.